What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own brand YouTube channel and I'm going to be creating it for my website drawadvisor.com. So this is going to be a project I'm going to be working on in the future. I've been working on a little bit already but if we come over here to YouTube I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process for creating your own brand channel which starts with creating a Google account. Now you can create a Google account just for yourself or to manage a business. I created one just for myself. I just have the email of drawadvisor at gmail.com. So you can see right here, I have Corey Draws, not my actual name, just the name I set for this individual Gmail account. And you can see I have my account here. So all we need to do is come to youtube.com after we create our Google account and click on create a channel. So when you're creating a channel, the very first thing you wanna do is name your channel and try to get the right handle for your channel. So we'll see if our handle is available. I actually haven't even checked yet. Looks like we're available here. So the name of the channel will be Draw Advisor. My handle will be Draw Advisor. And now I'm going to upload my picture. Now I've had se I've created several different pictures for my channel and I may change the channel image. I've kept the same channel image for Surfside PPC for years with really no intention to change it. So let me upload my picture now. Okay, so this is the picture that I'm gonna do. And now I'm, all I need to do is click on Create Channel. The image I use was 800 by 800 and I used canva.com to take my existing logo. So if we come to my website, you can see my existing logo here. I used canva.com to come up with this design. So if you use canva.com, you could do a search for YouTube thumbnail and it will bring up 800 by 800 designs and different templates that you can use as well. I just basically use my logo, white background and the same color in my logo for the outline. So let's click on create channel. Okay, so you can see we have our channel here. Now, if you're not seeing your channel on the next page, just click over here and make sure you click on your channel and that will pull up your actual now YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't worry about monetizing your channel at all until you start uploading videos and getting views. There are certain thresholds that you have to meet. So if you're trying to create a YouTube account to get views to monetize, you should really focus first on the basics, just trying to come out with a few different videos, creating playlists for your channel that are going to make sense for exactly what you want your channel to be about. Now let's click on customize channel and let's add some of the different things to our channel that we need to to get started. Okay, so you'll see welcome to YouTube studio here. We're going to click on continue so you could they're going to go through some different steps here as you are creating your channel, but you can see we're pretty much all set up. We have our channel here. So what we want to do is you can start with the layout. Since I have no videos or anything, I'm not going to be worried about the layout right now. Let's click on branding. So you can see my picture here for draw advisor. The next thing we're going to do is use a banner image. So I've already created a ban banner image again through canva.com. So I will down, I will upload my banner image now. Okay. So here is my banner art. Now what you're going to see is viewable on TV, viewable on desktop and viewable on all devices. So you want a banner that's going to look good on every single device on TV. This will look good on desktop. This will look fine. Just a bunch of colored pencils across. I can move this around a little bit if I want, but overall I think this is a good image to use for my banner art. So we're going to click on done. I wouldn't think too much about your banner art, but you're trying to find a banner image that's going to look good across different devices. So this one just looking right here looks pretty good across some of these different devices. Now, the next thing is going to be a video watermark. This appears in the bottom right hand corner of your videos. There will be one on this existing video and it allows people to easily subscribe to your channel. So I'm going to add my video watermark now an image that is 150 by 150 pixels is recommended use a png image so or a jpeg file so we're going to use upload our video watermark now okay so this is my watermark here we're going to use the same thing as our profile picture i might change this over time but for right now this is going to be the watermark i use and this will show up at the bottom of my videos and you could do it for the entire video customize a start time so we'll do custom start time and do five seconds so it pops up after people start use, watching my videos so let's click on publish okay so let's open up our channel and see how it looks now so if we click on go to channel oh, click on view channel here you could see we already have our url youtube.com slash at draw advisor so the one thing we don't have is our about section at all yet we haven't linked any of our websites so that's the last thing i'm going to be doing in this video and then from there it really just comes down to starting to create videos and then optimizing our channel with our actual content so let's come over here to basic info. We have our name, draw advisor, our handle. So you can see our handle there. Now it's time to add a description for our channel. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the 
channel or the descriptions that I've used in social media and on my website, I will create a custom description for YouTube over time. But for right now, I'm just going to copy and paste my description. Okay, so I've pasted my description here. Welcome to the Draw Advisor YouTube channel, and then some more information about my brand. You get 1,000 total characters. I've used 450 of them, so I will probably expand this description over time. You can add your description in different languages if you want. Now, one thing you're going to see here is this is the channel URL, the standard web address for my channel with my unique channel ID. So this won't change ever. So if you're ever linking to your channel, you can always use this URL. Next, let's add some links. So the social media channels I've created already are Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. So I've been starting to post on some of those different channels. Really don't have any many followers at all yet, but this is pretty much a brand new thing that I've created. So let's add my links now. Okay, so we have our links here. We have our website, our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our Pinterest profile. So I need to add a link to Instagram and any other social media channels that I create. So for right now, these are the four that I'm gonna have. So as of right now, we're gonna click on publish. Our YouTube channel is ready to go. We're ready to start creating videos and hopefully getting some views. So if you have any questions about creating your own YouTube brand channel, please leave them in the comment section. There's more that we can do to set up our YouTube channel, but this is a very good getting started point if you are creating a brand YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. So if we come in here real quick, you can see the about section. We have our description here. We have some of our different links. We have the links up at the top here. And then if we come over to home, obviously we have nothing here yet. So there's no videos. We have no playlist. We're not following any other channels or featuring any channels. So this is something that we can do over time. Now, if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. This is really just supposed to be a basic. Let's getting started with our YouTube brand account. So hopefully this helps you get started with creating your own brand account for YouTube. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.